another quality Rainier right here. Made with Yakima Valley hops. I'll have to go find the exact part of the Yakima Valley that contains the fabled hops that makes Rainier since 1878. 1878, that was just two years after the Battle of Little Bighorn. How many of you actually know what the hell the Battle of Little Bighorn is? Probably, leave me a comment if you actually know. Someone's going to say something stupid, but, you know, good for you. It is a sunny... Sunday afternoon, looking outside, uh, smoke has somewhat gone away, it rained pretty hard last night, um, uh, when I was uh, going to bed it was just pouring out, it's good, we needed that water, just like I need this beer, well folks, got a very special video for y'all today, Hope you're excited because I know I am pumped. Well, I've got 24 first edition packs of the Duelist Genesis. 24 of them, like a whole box. Uh, so, a lot of people, you know, don't know this, but Duelist Genesis, Crossroads of Chaos, and a couple other ones were never released first edition in boxes. Um, I'm not sure if the other ones are, I, I mean, was Phantom Darkness in one? I remember I had first edition Phantom Darkness packs. I'm pretty sure Phantom Darkness did come in a first edition box. Uh, I know there's a couple other ones, but those are the two main ones we've always talked about. It's Duelist Genesis and Crossroads of Chaos. And, uh, pretty sick. So the only ways to get these first editions, since they were not in a booster box, was to go to the sneak peek or go to a regional. Surprisingly enough, when they made the Stardust Dragon 10, those also came with first edition Duelist Genesis packs that were left over from, uh, you know, um, regionals and uh, YCSs, which at the time they were not YCSs, they were showing jumps. So, I remember when people were getting them, because usually when you got 10s, uh, packs are not first edition, you know, back when 10s just had the booster packs in them. So we were pretty surprised to get a hold of them Duelist Genesis first eds. And that's probably where most of these are from, probably people busting open the 10 and making profits off these. Uh, I've had these for a while, I hope there's some goodies in there. The main card, of course, to get a hold of out of this, it should just be insane. If I actually pull this card... Well, look out. I mean, to get a Ghost Rare Duelist uh, Stardust Dragon from Duelist Genesis, first dead, like I said, would be absolutely ape shit insane. Another card that would be really ridiculous to pull would be like an ultimate uh, first dead uh, emergency teleport, and of course, a secret rare charge of the Light Brigade. Any one of those three would be insane. Uh, Stardust Dragon's really going up in value because of Link Summoning. He's much like Cyframe Lord Omega in that when he uses his effect, he disappears out of the Extra Zack Zone and then comes back into the main monster zone. His Stardust Dragon is still really good because you can negate any effect that would destroy a car on the field. So you can negate Masterpiece. If he's affected by monsters, he won't be destroyed. If he's unaffected, if he's been tributed using a monster, he's unaffected. But... Still, I mean, Stardust Dragon is still mad good. I don't like seeing it when someone makes it on the field. I'm like, God damn, I gotta kill that thing. You know? Because it negates Regeki. Negates enemy, you know, Twin Twisters. It's just, it's a really good card. And of course, Star Strike, or, or uh, what's the trap card? Uh... I can't remember, but it's the one where if you, you negate it, and then you special out a Stardust Dragon. It's pretty ridiculous. Man, I can remember the artwork and everything. I just can't remember the picture. Anyways, guys, I'm really excited to open up the Duelist Genesis. Hopefully, there's some goodies in here. Best super rare, I think, is Kinkaboyu. Uh, like 10 bucks. I'll be excited to pull one of them for sure. All right, guys. I'm going to head over yonder. I'm going to rip open these packs because I'm super stoked. I've been hanging on to these for a long time. 
And of course, I'm going to drink some more beer, and let's make sure that we together get drunk! All right, let's get on in here. I got my beer right there, and the Duelist Genesis pack. It's 24, so I put them out as a booster box, 12 and 12. Uh, like I said, if I can pull the Stardust Dragon Ghost, it may be the most amazing thing that you've ever witnessed on camera. My God. Another shout-out to Charge of the Light Brigade. That'd be sick to get. Uh, and Emergency Teleport Ultimate. Here we go. Old-ass packs from 2008. Turbo Booster, Noisy Nat, Judgment of the Thunder, Mind Protector, and the Selection. This is a really good uh, rare for a while. Pay a thousand life points to gate the summon of a monster that has the same type as monster on the field destroyed. Who using that against uh, Clyfort for a while there? Mind Protector, Telekinetic Shocker. Man, it's been a while since I've seen some of these cards. Everything's like machine and psychic in this, it seems like. Crebon's part of the horrific, uh, uh, what do you call it? Teledad. Trick, tricky Spell 4, Psychic Commander, another part of it. Dr. Cranium and Herald of Orange Light, which is a really popular uh, rare for a while. For a long time, this card was worth like six, seven dollars until recently. Uh, send this card with a fairy type monster from your hand to the graveyard and negate the activation and effect of an effect monster your opponent controls and destroy it. Pretty good, except it's a it's a negative two because you have to discard two. Mecha bunny, gotta love those mecha bunnies. Man, it's been a while since Crebons too. That thing negate paying her life points and getting attack. Ridiculous. What were they doing? These still have upper deck on them too. I'll have to show you that. Beast of the Pharaoh, pretty good card here for zombies. This card said to the graveyard synchro summon. You can special summon one level four or lower zombie type monster from your graveyard. Really good. Lightweight tuning, dark. And in a is an army. Equip recycling batteries. Cobalt Hedgehog. Free summon. If you can control a face up tuner monster, you can still summon this card from your graveyard. This card was summoned this way. Removed from play when it's removed from the field. Free summon. It's ridiculous. Okay, here we go. I'll show you uh, on the back. Yeah, it still says upper deck. And notice it doesn't say six plus years. This is like one of the last packs that had upper deck on it. I don't know what the last one is. I'll have to double check that and see. But Upper Deck was a part, was making these cards through 2008. 2009 was the first year where they weren't at all. Oyster Meister, Needlebug Nest, and Thought Roller Arsfiend Ultra Rare. Nice! Non ultimate, but I'll take the Ultra. So it's uh, one tuner and one or more, more non tuner monsters. When this card destroys a monster by battle and send it to the graveyard, gain life points equal to that monster's original attack. You can pay 1,000 life points to negate the activation of a spell or trap card that targets one second monster and destroy it. And yes, you do get a rare in these packs. Uh, this was the first pack to get rares, along with hollows, I believe. Oh man, that thing's gross. Silent Strider. Nasty. Cool! Got a Thought Ruler Archfiend. Uh, been a while since I've seen that. I love the ultimate rare. That was, that was like a boss monster. Back, back when Synchro Summons first came out, you would play any synchro monster. Like, it didn't matter if you, like, you just, there's not very many synchros, kind of like uh, Link monsters right now. Fish, Depth, Charge. Just destroy one card on the field, draw one card. 12 piece goal, another Krebons, Tricky Spell 4, and Yamato no Kame. They're into spirits again for a while with this. Synchro Deflector, Mecha Bunny, Domino Effect, Twin Shield Defender. That Beast of the Pharaoh is pretty damn good in Zombies. Come on. Quality cards. Lightwave Tuning. Dark Charmer. All right, they're in here. Oyster Meister. Remote Revenge. And Dark Resonator, the original print of this. Once printed, if this card would be destroyed by battle, it is not. I like how many Noisy Nat. Pretty hilarious looking. The Judgment of Thunder with, uh, I can't remember that guy's name. Watt Kid. Uh, but amazing how much Resonators became popular in high speed riders. They made, they just expanded the Resonator field. There's so many now. Remote Revenge, Jute Fighter, Lightwave Tuning, Dark, and another Izanami. Another Quibble Hedgehog. Man, look how messed up that card is. 
Look at that misprinting on it. Gross. Oh, it's all over it. Check it out. All at the top. Ghost Gardener. Another Mecha Bunny. I got the place of the Mecha Bunny. Mecha Bunny, of course. When this card is flipped face up, select one card on the field and flip fire and damage to its control. When this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one Mecha Bunny from your deck and face down defense position. Non stop Mecha Bunnies. Shuffle them back in with Digusto Emerald. Do it all over again. Not that Digusto Emerald existed when Mecha Bunny was reprinted. Beast of the Pharaoh. Genus Lightsworn Mender. Orb of Yakasha, or Yasaka, for them spirit monsters. Psychic Commander and Cold Enchanter. Kunoichi, Gladder Beast, Recycling Batteries. Got that Thought Ruler Archfiend chilling down there. Krebons, Tricky Spell 4, Psychic Commander, and another Dark Resonator. Sword of Kusanagi, Psychic Snail, Synchro Deflector, Mind Protector. This isn't the one with uh, Overdrive Teleporter, is it? No, Mind Master. That's the one I'm thinking of. Banned Mind Master. Him and Substitute have the same effect. Just It's not once per turn. You can just continuously do it the entire turn. It's so broken. Like, what were they thinking when they made that? Duelist Genesis. I always think, whenever I think of Genesis, I think of the Sega Genesis. Or the Genesis Bomb from Star Trek 2, Rathacon, Destructotron, <laughs> Mirror of Yada, Small Piece Golem, and Handcuffs Dragon. Everybody loves the Handcuffs Dragon. Noisy Gnat. This is another spirit card, right? Yeah, sort of Kusanagi. Seems like some Japanese words are used a lot more than others. I'm pretty sure I've heard Kusanagi in other games. Kusanagi. Alright, getting down here on the right side. Remote... This one's got a misprint too on this Jute Fighter. It's got red up there. Lightwave Tuning, Dark the Dark Charmer, and Defense Draw. This card saw some play for it. Activate only during damage shell between your opponent's turn. The battle of damage you receive becomes zero. Draw one card. All right, so far only one hollow out of 12 packs. Let's go. Come on, let's break the streak. Let's get another one. Notoriously hard to get hollows out of this. Turbo Booster, Life Sworn Barrier, and Multiple Piece Golem, Ultimate Rare. There we go, an Ultimate Rare of Multiple Piece Golem, because everybody needs that. All right, Big Piece Golem and Medium Piece Golem. Uh, at the end of the battle phase, if this card attacked or was attacked, you can return it to the extra deck. Then, if all the fusion material monsters that were used for the fusion summon of this card is in your graveyard, you can special summon them. Kind of like an ABC Buster Dragon. Fighting Spirit. It's not bad, really. Telepathic power with the Psychic Snail. All right, here we go. Left side, halfway through, two hollows so far. Yes, yeah, some of you newer players may be wondering where all the super rares are. That's because you do not get a super rare per pack. You just get a rare. Uh, Dr. Cranium, so gross. Remote Revenge, Mind Over Matter. Tribute one Psychic Monster. Negate the aggregation of a Spiller Trap card, then, or the normal summon of a, or special summon of a monster. Destroy that card. Domino effect. I think people are trying to use that in something. There's Psychic Snail. Gross. All these gross-ass cards. More Duelist Genesis. Ah, I can't open this one. There we go. There I got it. Medium piece going. Psycho Rejuvenation, Jute Fighter, Counselor Lily. This is supposed to be like uh, an, uh, another form of uh, Fairy Injection Lily. When this card is sent to the graveyard for a Synchro Summon, you pay 500 life points out of the Secret Monster gain 1,000 attack to the end of the turn, or end of the phase. So yeah, it is supposed to be related to uh, damn old uh, Injection Fairy Lily. This pack got a little messed up. It's okay, I still ripped it open like a man. Jute Fighter, Psy Impulse, Beast of the Pharaoh, got a full place of Genesis, Cold Enchanter, man, that is like the easiest rare to get. Psy Station, no relation to Psy Frames. Because they're spelt different too. Yeah. Yeah. 
three hollows so far. So out of a box, I should get like six. Let's see if I can do that. Beast of Pharaoh, Janus, Orb, Psychic Manor, Yamato no Kame. Telekinetic Shocker. I'll tell you what, that black guy that played Shocker. No, he wasn't Shocker. My bad. Jamie Foxx played Electro. That was like the worst Spider-Man movie. I liked it less than I liked Damn Spider-Man 3 or Amazing Spider-Man 1. What's the new one called? Spider-Man Homecoming? That one was pretty good. I liked that one. Hopefully they won't have like immense amount of villains in the next one. Overwork. This card was super meta against uh, against damn old... Uh, Fire Fist, destroy the attack. Each monster's attack is higher than its original attack. It was so good against Fire Fist. Unstable Evolution. Equip spell card. When you when your life points are lower than your opponent's, the equipped monster's original attack becomes 2,400. While your life points are higher than your opponent's, its original attack becomes 1,000. I don't remember this ever being played, but, you know, get in there with it. It's a, it's a hilarious looking card, though. It shows like a chimpanzee to a human to an alien. Unstable evolution. Weird. Alright, looks like I still got uh, six packs left. Now in the last quarter. Four hollows, just two more to match a box. Fish depth charge. I'd like to see someone bring that back. Psy Impulse, Destructotron, Dr. Cranium, and Mind Over Matter. God, I keep getting this stupid Silent Strider. It's so gross. I just dropped it on... Ugh. Kunoichi. When, the war, when control is face of card change, this new controller discards one random card. I wonder how many people actually got that successfully done with Kunoichi. Like, who would ever target that with enemy controller? Like, hmm. I guess I could get it. I'll discard a card. I guess you have no cards in hand, who cares? Oyster Meister! Get yourself a token. Me and Peace Golem, Tricky Spell 4, The Selection. Oh, here's Gear Town. That card's mad good in Ancient Gear. In fact, without it, you can't play Ancient Gear, basically. Too bad it's not called an Ancient Gear car, otherwise you'd be able to search it. Man, come on. Alright. Still going here. If I can get these out. Damn you, Upper Deck, for stealing these so intense. That's why Konami got out of the Upper Deck business. Because the packs were too difficult for the children to open. Beast of the Pharaoh. Lightweight Tuning, Dark Charmer. Oh my god, I got Ultra Rare Stardust Dragon. Oh, for a sec, I thought it was Ghost. Oh, it's an Ultra Rare Stardust Dragon. Wow, I actually pulled the cover monster. Holy hell. All right, let's go ahead and read this. You can tribute this card and negate the activation of the spell card, trap card, or effect monster effect that destroys a card on the field and destroy that card. If you negate the effect this way, you can special summon this card from your graveyard during the end phase. So good. So good for so long. I still think it's good. Charging cell. Domino effect, psychic snail, recycling batteries. Wow. I actually pulled a Stardust Dragon. It's just the lowest, you know, one. It's just the ultra. All right, so that's five hollows. Just need one more to match a box out of all these loose packs. Doing pretty good. Give me a secret rare. I want one. Here's the original Book of Eclipse. Hella meta for a while. Psycho Rejuvenation, Juke Fighter, Trap of Dark Darkness. Activate by only paying 1,000 life points while you have 3,000 life points or less. Select a normal trap card in your graveyard. This card's effect is the same as that trap card. Remove from play the normal trap card. So you could do that with uh, uh, Bottomless Trap Hole. I've actually had that card played against me. I think it was Bottomless Trap Hole someone used. Do it with Compulse. Torrential Tribute. It's too specific. Otherwise it would be a good card, I think. Trap of Darkness. Alright, last three packs here. Structure Tron, Mirror of Yada. Small piece golem and magical android. So I did it. I got the I got the whole thing here. I got six hollows. I twenty four pack. That's the way it's supposed to be. Once tuner and one or more non tuner monsters played during your end phase, gain six hundred life points. Each psychic monster you control. So with, it's just it by itself. You get six hundred life points. Big piece golem. Uh, synchro deflector. 
All right, final two. I'm pretty satisfied. I got six hollows. Maybe one more. Give me another one. Give me a secret. Come on. Give me a damn secret. Jute fighter. Lightweight tuning. Dark of the dark charmer. Oh, and I got... Oh, my God. I pulled an ultimate rare emergency teleport. Holy shit. Holy fuck. Oh, my God. Special summon one level three or lower psychic type monster from your hand or deck during the end phase this turn. Remove that play from... Remove from play that monster. Oh, and, of course, a cold enchanter. Oh, my God. Damn. Wow. I didn't believe I pulled that. At one point, that was like 70 bucks when Cosmo was really popular. All right. Last best hope to get a Ghost Rare Stardust Dragon. I'm getting real greedy. Come on. Give me an eighth hollow. Mean Peace Golem, Junk Barrage, Remote Revenge, and a Big Peace Golem. Equeste. Wow. This was really good, I feel. I not pull a secret, but secrets are the hardest to pull by far, besides the ghost. E teleport, gem mint, never played. Nice. That's beautiful. And you got the magical android at the start of Strag. Man, buddy, I wish you were ghost. Or even ultimate. Regular ultra, I don't know how much it's worth. Unstable evolution, counselor lily, ultimate multiple piece golem, and thought ruler archfiend. It's a sick, car sick card. I really like. Uh, all these cards I got, I mean, the worst one I think I got was Unstable Evolution, just because I don't remember it ever being played. Counselor Lily was attempted to play for a while because you needed all the synchro help you could get when the game first came out, so I remember people using that. But Unstable Evolution, I don't recall at all. That's a good haul there, folks. That's, that's not bad. Seven hollows for 24 loose packs. I'll take them all day. You know, you never know. When you, when you pull out your loose packs, you're like, man, did someone weigh these all? I want to see what cold enchanters I got. One, two, three, four, five. I got five cold enchanters. Looks like how many big piece golems I get. I got a lot of those, too. I guess I didn't. I only got two. Okay, so cold enchanter, I got five. I always remember that one being easy to pull. But still, take a look at these. Those are nice. Choice. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. I know I did. Uh, if you like what you saw, give me a thumbs up. If you want to keep seeing this quality content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And then, you know, over there, hit that bell icon. You know, for whom the bell tolls. It'll let you know automatically. It'll give you a notification that I have put up another quality video where I open up packs and get an ultimate rare emergency teleport. That's so sick. I can't believe I pulled that. That was... That was out of the big three, the Ghost Stardust, the 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 uh, Charger Light Brigade, and the Ultimate e Tally. That's the worst one of those three. But, you know, it's still the top three. So, hell yeah. And it, try, it tried to give me a Ghost Stardust. Duelist Genesis tried its best, but just gave me a regular, ultra-rare Stardust Dragon. So, guys, uh, you know, stay cool. You know, get a good beverage. And uh, I'll see you all in a couple days. Peace.